Hey guys, this is Troy Miller with SpicyJello.com. Thank you for joining me again for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through how to install Capture One styles. And I'm also going to show you how Capture One saves the presets that are part of Capture One. So things like your workspace, your styles and presets, and your export presets, some of those other things to help organize. And also within that, I'll show you where Capture One stores the styles folder so that you can go in and rename them and reorganize them. As you can see for me, like in the top right hand corner here, I've renamed and organized all my styles in a way that works best for me. And you can do the same thing. So first of all, if you've purchased any of my style packs, I thank you very much for your support. That is greatly appreciated. So what we have here is a spicy jello portrait style. And as you can tell, it's got a .co style pack. That makes this very easy for us to do. So if you don't have your style and preset window open, you can do that by simply going under window in the top, create new floating window, and at the bottom, just choose styles and presets, and you'll get a little window like this. Uh, we'll get into how that stuff is organized in another video, but for right now, just to install these, that's the easiest way for you to do that. So here we have our style pack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna suggest that you select it so we know that we're on that particular item and then you're gonna double click. And there you go. So under the user styles, it's appeared right there in the bottom. If the double click doesn't work, don't do it again because it'll install it over and over and over again, which we don't wanna do. You can come up into the right hand corner under these three little dots at your options tab and choose import style and then simply navigate to wherever that folder pack is or that style pack and then that will install it as well. So now that we have that installed, you can see that there's styles in here. Now you can delete these styles, like you could right click and say delete, but what you can't do is you can't move them around, you can't rename them and you can't delete the root folder. So if for example, you did install these twice and you wanted to delete one, you can't do that. Let's see if I can make that work. There you go. So I have it in there twice. Shoot, what do I do? Very simple. Go to the spicyjello.com website under the uh, items for sale there. You'll see some instructions for installing your Capture One styles. In that document, you'll see a link for manually managing your styles. And let me just take you through this real quick. Windows and Mac work very much the same way, but I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna show you that. So I've selected, I've copied the path we need. You can either use the command space bar and paste that path in there. I'll do that real quick. And then you could just hit enter and it could take you there. If that doesn't work, you can always go into your finder. Once your finder is open in the top left-hand corner, it says go, go to folder, and you could, you could type, you could copy it in there too. Here, we'll paste it, command V, paste it in there. Now what we wanna do is we don't wanna go straight to this folder immediately. That folder contains only your styles. I'm gonna show you how to organize everything. So we're gonna delete that all the way back to just application support, say okay. Now in here, we're gonna to wanna to find in the right hand column under application support where it says capture one, select that. Now this is the folder we wanna save. I'm sorry for Windows guys, I don't know how to save this link in the Explorer, um, but you probably know how to do that. So I'm gonna drag this into my left column and I'm gonna save that, as you can see, it's already right there. So when I go to Capture One, I have a list of folders. Now these folders are the preferences saved by Capture One for how you've arranged your workspace, how you've arranged your output recipes, things like that. And what the neat thing about this is, is it helps you have more control over organization, also allows you to import and share some of those things. So for example, uh, let me get into one here. Here we go, your defaults. So this is th these are the defaults that have been applied for a particular camera. So if you go into the high dynamic range tab or the exposure tab and you say, save as a default for say the D5, hit apply, whatever I've set in here is gonna apply the next time I bring in a file from the D5, that preset is right there. So this is great if you wanna move them from one computer to another, you simply take this folder, copy it, navigate to the same location we are right now, and just drop it in there, and your laptop or your desktop and laptop will have the same files. 
Same thing goes for keyboard shortcuts. Like here under TLM, I have a keyboard shortcut that I created. I could share that with somebody. Um, I could back it up. That's great. In the future, I'm going to have a couple keyboard shortcuts that I can I can put out there for you guys. The same thing goes for your recipes. So the recipes are your export presets, and that is when you want to output a, full, a file from within Capture One. This, these are the rules that it uses. So again, you can save those, back those up, share those. I'm going to be making a set of those. I use, I got probably 25 that I use on a regular basis. But for right now, oh, and let's not forget your workspaces. This is really important. That's how your tabs are laid out, your floating windows are laid out. All that information is here as well. So under styles, this is what we've been working on. You can see how the contents that I have here is mirrored with what Capture One sees when I open user styles. And you can see right here under spicy portrait styles, I have two. So very simply, I could right click on one of them and hit move to trash. That guy is gone. I'm going to do that for the last one because I don't need them in there. I already have the originals. Now, it's not going to show up in Capture One immediately. You're going to have to shut Capture One down and restart it. But at that point, the user style folder will look the same. The same thing would be said, for example, if you imported a workspace setting or a recipe or something else of that nature, keyboard shortcuts. If you added a file here, just restart Capture One, and that will take into effect. Well, thank you guys for spending some time with me. I hope this was helpful. If uh, you wanna follow more about what I'm doing, if you wanna see more tutorials and things, just check out spicyjello.com. That will be there. You can also find me on Instagram at spicyjello and on Vimeo, I've got a bunch of tutorials under Spicy Jello as well. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me at troy at spicyjello.com. That would be awesome. And I hope you have a good day and you enjoy this little tip. Thanks.